and that snowpack can help even going into the spring. Um, but it's going to be a while before those fires get put out and that smoke travels. So it travels along those upper level winds and can make it really almost all the way across the country. So uh, we'll take a closer look at that in a second. First of all, let's talk about what's going on outside this morning. It's cool. It's not as cool as it was yesterday morning, though. So you can see temperature readings across the area here, uh, mostly into the 40s. We do have a couple of 30s, 37 in West Bend, 39 in Waukesha, 38 from Lake Geneva out towards Burlington. It's 47 right now in Milwaukee. The dew points, they're still really low. Yesterday, uh, no humidity. There's really going to hardly be any humidity today as well. So our dew points this afternoon will be into the probably mid 40s, I think. Uh, Storm 4 Max here, things look good. It's quiet as we're starting out the morning and across the region, more of the same. Big area of high pressure in places is going to keep the weather pretty quiet for us here. So here's that smoke map that I was talking about. Uh, some of the hot spots where the wildfires are, the smoke is really very dense, but you can see a lot of that smoke has been pulled in over the plains, uh, starting to move back in across the Midwest. So we're just starting to see some of this working its way into Wisconsin now. And throughout the day, uh, the upper level winds will be out of the west. And so those upper level winds are what will drive this smoke. And so I think it will end up being a little bit hazy for us this afternoon. Our weather headlines, we are going to see a warming trend. Yesterday was a bit cool. Temperature topped out at 63 as expected. Today, we're looking at upper 60s. Next week, though, 70s. A mainly dry stretch of weather over the next seven days. There's really not much opportunity for rain. It is going to be breezy at times starting today and throughout the upcoming week. Here's future forecast that high We'll start to move off to the east here. We'll see a few upper level clouds and again some haze from that smoke moving in and that will likely be with us at times as we move throughout the upcoming week. Monday afternoon, it's quiet, it's dry. We could see a couple of showers on Tuesday morning here. That chance fairly low, but enough moisture that we may see just a couple of very isolated showers. But most of the day on Tuesday, will end up being dry, partly cloudy. A few more clouds likely to move in as we head into Wednesday, but still dry. Today uh, will warm again into the upper 60s, mostly clear, a little bit breezy, wind gusts around 25 miles an hour. So as far as the dew point cast today, again, the dew points in the 40s, but we'll see them in the low 50s Monday, upper 50s Tuesday into Wednesday. So you'll notice just a little bit more humidity. We're up to 72 as we start the week. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s as we move from Tuesday into Wednesday, and we'll hold on to those temperature readings into the 70s. Looks like even as we start next weekend, some indications that maybe by next weekend we'll see another cool down coming in. Uh, I do want to take a look at what's going on out over Lake Michigan. We'll check in on your boating forecast and tell you who could see some issues out on the lake today. Still ahead. Wow, what a beautiful forecast though overall.